Hi, I'm Brad Knowles, producer of Friday Night Flies, hosted by Scott LeBoldis and Scotty Holmes. Enjoy the show. Okay. Holy Toledos. It's true. We're here. It's Friday night. I wanted to do a little bit of a happy dance, but tonight I'm not going to just because I've had a crazy day here down at the sports shop, Spud Valley Sporting Goods, if you don't know where we're located, the old Fish Finder and Friday Night Flies headquarters in Pemberton at 1380 Birch Street. You guys should come on down here and spend some money. we got some great deals for you. Anyhow, tonight is about pink salmon. And if you look down the bottom corner here, you're going to see a beautiful little pattern called the pink salmon special and it's it's damn easy to tie which most pink salmon flies are easy to tie and uh, that's probably why they're one of my favorite flies to tie just because you can mass produce them I've been sitting here hammering them out getting ready for clients because it's that time of year when the pink salmons do their song and dance for very happy clients but uh, you know I'm pretty excited We've got uh, Deb Pascal's in the in the house tonight. You can probably see her if you look over in the camera. Look over that one there. Hello, everyone. Ladies and gentlemen, she's helping. She's a little bit out of her element tonight, but uh, <laughs> she's winging it. And uh, winging so, it. so if I have to shout some numbers at her to help her get the cameras right, you'll know why. This is her first crack at it, and she's going to do really good. So anyhow, we're going to go down to camera four. We'll give this beautiful, beautiful fly a slow roll for you. Are we there? Yeah. Camera four. We're there. Okay, look at this, ladies and gentlemen. They call this the pink salmon special. <laughs> I uh, I honestly couldn't think of a better name, but uh, there's a lot of things that are pink in this world, and most things that are pink are beautiful, aren't they? Definitely. Aren't they? Yeah, pink is I mean, there's there's like some really dumb colors out there, but pink is one of my favorites. It's most perfect. things that are pink are edible. Aren't they? Mm -hmm. Most of them. Most they're fleshy. Really? They're soft and cuddly. <laughs> and, and fish go crazy for pink. And fish, you're right. Fish yeah. go crazy for pink. So tonight, where what are we going to do? We're going to start right at the vise here. I'm going to pop this beautiful little fly and we're going to try our best to duplicate it without breaking our thread tonight. So we're tying this guy on a Gamagatsu. Gamagatsu hook. That's a size 6 and it's a traditional series, which is the L11S-3H, which is a salmon steelhead three times strong. Being that the uh, pink salmon are ferocious little buggers, you don't want to get too light of a hook out there because what they're going to do is straighten hooks on you. And most of the time, you're going to be down near the bottom, bashing the bottom, or within that bottom six inches. To start the show off right since we are salmon fishing and streams in region two we're going to start this show off right with crimping that barb okay single barbless hooks in all streams in region two or i think it's province wide now is oh, not yeah. and if you are salmon right, fishing or fish steelhead yeah who does no, who does hey if you need a barb man you ain't a fish or woman or man not even if I'm fishing for gold, anyhow so wide. what are we tying this with i've starting out here with way too many beads in my hands <laughs> I'm just going to pull the price tag off this bag because it's covering the hook size or the uh, bead size. So this is a 3 16th bead. We're going fairly heavy because the waters we're fishing are fast and they're somewhat deep. And this gives you the right amount of weight to get you down in that zone. And you know what? Sometimes you need to add another little bit of split shot or something to get you down there. But I find that the 3 16th teamed up with a type 3 or type 6 sink tip will put you in those fishy zones so i'm just going to go over a couple different things that we were doing here so this body here i've been bouncing between putting a red thread underlay or a pink underlay and it definitely gives it a different hue so you can see hold on, i'll see if i can put that it's a little darker with the red and it's a bit lighter with the pink yeah. but I'll tell you it's the collar it's nice to have a little different contrast so personally I'm favoring the red thread so that's what I'm going to tie with tonight and if I mean I was going to mess around with putting some crazy colors under there maybe a chartreuse we got somebody at the door so if it's a customer tell them to beat it because we're closed 
but if it's one of our fellow fly tires, they can come in as long as they got a cold bevy for the, the captain here. So what we're tying it with once again is a three aught red thread. Oh, hey, so our man Scotty Holmes is in the building. So you just want to build up a little bit of a base layer once again, because as I was explaining there with the different colors under the thread or under that, uh, I'm putting either a pearl mylar and I've also, because the thing is, is a pearl mylar and this other one that I'm using, Flashaboo with the lateral scale is, it is also a pearl as well, but I just it find that color. it really it changes, changes color. color when it hits the water and it makes fish crazy. So you can use, because if you can't, you can't just find the lateral scale just anywhere. Most of the, the yeah, sea yeah. run, we've got it here at the spud. Um, or if you can't find that stuff, uh, uni mylar is just as effective, but I don't know, man, no, there's, there's something, the lateral scale, the lateral scale yeah. just gives it that extra fishy, fishy goodness. If that's yeah, goodness is a word. Why wouldn't it there's be? Something fishy. <laughs> it's super fishy. <laughs> so anyhow, all I'm doing is just building up a little bit of a color underlay because it does give it a little bit of a hue through underneath that lateral scale. You'll see here in a sec. So just building it up. And then what we've been putting in the tail is, what do they call this? Pearl flash or? Crystal flash. Crystal flash. Crystal flash. I've got some well, that's pink. that's a cool color. Uh, what are they called? Shrimp pink. Shrimp pink. Shrimp pink, crystal flash. And I don't know who in their marketing division puts these stupid zap straps, but it makes it really difficult to get your stuff out of there without it making a big mess. So I just went down to Michael's and I got a paper clip. It's magnetic, so it sticks to my head really good. <laughs> and it holds your stuff nice so that when you're, you're tying commercially, um, it keeps everything really tight and needy, neat, needy. <laughs> That's me when it comes to my wife. I'm needy. So nice, sharp scissors from Dr. Slick. Highly recommend them. Good stuff. So we're going to cut a little chunk of that, probably about two inches, depending on the size of hook you're covering. You want to cover the shank to help bulk up the body a little bit and leave about the length of the shank out the back, and then you'll clean it up after. So right up on top, lock it down. Lock it down. <laughs> and once, once again, <laughs> we're just going to cover all that up so that you don't see the flash through it because you don't want to do that. You want to have that underlaying color, but you want to bulk it up just a little bit. It's kind of like going to McDonald's and putting all the extras on there, you know. <laughs> In my case, a little little extra mayo is good sometimes. Throw on some of the pickles. Mm. But as you can see, starting to color up real nice. You got somebody else at the door there. All these fly tires are showing up late. Hey, it's not a paid gig, <laughs> so it's it's not a paid gig. <laughs> so, <laughs> so you can show up late, whatever. Oh, I saw somebody in the camera there. Anyhow, so we got a nice, and you want to keep it nice and uniform. You see, it's nice and square. The body, it's pretty slick. Hey, Ricky, you tying tonight or what, buddy? Okay, so everybody's starting to show up. We got it nice and uniform. This is where we go to this beautiful lateral, lateral scale. You take yourself a nice little sliver of this good stuff off. Oh, it's, it's, uh, yeah, you can see it. It's like, it's like party. Okay, so we take that lateral scale. And to start it out, Typically, I'll cut it on a 45, and the reason we do that yeah. is it helps it start, it comes off at a 45 a little nicer, you'll see here in a second. And you anchor that down, once again, nice and tight, right back to the tail, work your thread back up to the head, quick whip finish. And I'm going to use the rotary features of this a lovely mongoose, vice by Griffin International. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. The business. <laughs> Great. Oh, look at. Oh, look at it starting to come through. You're seeing that red 
peek through there a little bit. And you're going to work it right up to the bead. Like so. And once again, we're going to lock it down. That bobbin cradle always gets in the way. Especially when you're working in tight quarters here with cameras up your nasals. Everything's working okay? Alright, so there we go. We got that locked down. Now, we go to the uh, the finishing touches here by Semperfly. Semperfly's in the house. So this is the uh, 15 mil plus chenille FL pale pink. You can see Semperfly's in the house. They're usually not in our house. They're not one of our sponsors, but if you are listening and watching this show tonight, you better be sponsoring our show from here on because we're... We use it. We make your stuff look real sexy. Anyhow, so I got a little chunk of this cut off. You're going to go about, oh, we're in Canada, so we're centimeters. We're probably going about one centimeter or a quarter of an inch. <laughs> quarter of an inch, eh? Still by yeah, me too, man. <laughs> so you're going to set it back, quarter of an inch. You don't want to go too heavy with this stuff. You don't need a lot. So if you cut a little chunk off, it lasts a long time. So you got it tied back in there, quarter of an inch. And as you're wrapping it around, you're going to prune it back a bit, right? So you peel it back as you're going. Look at that. You see how it changed it? Sexy. Made it stand up. Look all sexy. That pink is sexy. That is, that fly is awesome. Yeah, it's pretty simple. You wouldn't need anything else. That's it. Catch That's Cobo it. and pinks. Yeah, it, it's, oh, uh, I'm, I'm looking you forward to this. anyways. Pinky. Oh, oh, okay, sure so pink. same thing. We're going to lock this down. This is the fun part because... As you can see, this stuff likes to trap in behind you try the thread. It? Yeah, just, okay. I've been working at the shop all day, handling stuff, and uh, I really don't care so much about the taste of uh, hand sanitizer, so oh, I've been just yeah. no, trying it's... my best to keep my hands out of my mouth. <laughs> I just keep a glass of water. <laughs> I just put it in a glass yeah. of water and make it all I'm old school. I just like licking my fingers. So I I anyhow, it's pretty easy. You just kind of peel it back a little bit with your fingers and all we're going to do is just make a little bit of a hot spot right behind that bead by peeling it back. You're going to trap some stuff, but that's okay. If you do trap it, if you got a really nice pair of scissors from uh, Dr. Slick and they got a nice sharp point, look at that. Look at the yep. difference right there, ladies and gentlemen. You're seeing mastery, pink fly mastery. And we're just going to finish it off with a quick whip finish. So, usually, you know, I'm a, I'm a Solares lunatic. But know. it's it's one thing about Solares. It's really good with, like, uh, chronomids and stuff like that. But when I'm commercially tying with pink flies and stuff like that, I just find, like, the, the smell of it is a little bit much when I'm sitting in my basement tying so i've been using luno doors a little bit more here lately and uh it seems to work pretty good it's not as hard and i don't think the finish is quite as nice it's uv too. but it doesn't well this stuff isn't uv so you just no, like it's just like a, it's a head cement i'm supposed to get into the pink stuff but it really it comes out nice it really does so you got luno doors is in the house tonight which they don't usually we're using a lot of different stuff that we don't usually do but we just want to cover up those threads just for the simple reason that pink salmon are a toothy fish and the longer you can keep these fish or the hooks looking good you keep them looking good so we'll give that a slow roll ladies and gentlemen and to finish this fly off because like right now the tail is a little bit out of proportion usually what i do is the length of the body here I'll match that up with the tail. So length of the tail, same as the body. And then you'll see this fly will pop. And you can give it a little what's up. Just a whoo! How's that look, camera lady? Looks pretty good. I'm going to fish that in a hot minute. <laughs> oh, you, you bet there's going to be a lot of clients that are going to be fishing that this year. So sure. that is the pink salmon special. We'll go back over to camera three for two seconds. And I think Deb Pascal's up next. Are you going to tie a fly tonight, Scotty? Oh, come on, no. Scotty. Ricky's got a... Rick, I've been, you want to turn there? No. I've been telling Rick that I've been wanting this one pattern that he's been on. 
for a long time. So it's just stay in tune. Sure stay in tune. Yeah, you are. <laughs> Anyhow, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for joining us. Uh, we're going to try our best to keep the show up and going through the through the pink salmon season at least, maybe into the fall. Um, I've changed my schedule here at the shop, so if you want to see the fish finder himself in action, um, I'm in the shop here on Thursdays and Fridays, hence why we're doing Friday Night Flies again, because I'm actually in the shop, and our hours are enabling us to get a little bit more productive online. So anyhow, thanks again for coming in and watching the show, and if you got some more questions about pink salmon, swing by the shop, Spud Valley Sporting Goods, 1380 Bird Street, downtown Pemberton, you know who you got to ask for. Anybody that's working here knows what they're talking about. So we'll go over to camera. What are we doing? Four or five? I think it's five. Camera five. The outro. Mm -hmm.